So today we're going to make foot and leg circles with you lying on your stomach, a follow-up to my last lesson of foot circles. So again, you can do your standing scan from my previous videos and the lying scan just to check yourself out and bring your awareness inside that so you really begin to notice what you're doing. Okay, and come and lie on your stomach again with your hands one on top of the other. This time we might put the left hand on top. And check out the way that your legs are lying on the floor. Do they feel, does the heel feel more turned in or turned out on either leg? Are they far away from the middle or close together? So bring them about the width of your hips apart and just roll each leg in and out so the heel turns in and out just to check out how they're lying today and what they feel like and what sort of movement you can feel in your hip joints. Feel it with each leg and compare. And again, we'll be doing it on the right side today, but you can do it again afterwards and just reverse the instructions for the left side. So bend your lower leg, so your lower leg and foot are pointing towards the ceiling. Notice the position of your foot, how it hangs on the end of your, your lower leg. And very gently begin to tilt the foot and the lower leg a little bit inwards and then back to neutral. Just feel how that goes. So your foot and your lower leg are just tilting to the left and back again. Smooth, jumpy, easy, difficult. What do you feel? And back to neutral and then begin to tilt the lower leg and foot to the right and back. And how does that go? How far can you go comfortably? Don't push into pain or discomfort. If you do that you're just going to set up some patterns of um, fighting against yourself. So is it easier to go to the right or to the left? What do you feel in your hip joint and maybe your pelvis? And then begin to tilt the lower leg and foot to the right and the left. Pausing and going gently and seeing if you know where that neutral point is, where the middle of that arc is. And feeling, beginning to sense how that's connected into the rest of your skeleton. Maybe something's even happening in your head. Or your shoulders, your shoulder blades. Feel that gentle twisting in your spine. And then pause. And now begin to bring your right heel towards your right buttock and away a little bit. Just back to neutral, to the, towards the buttock and back to neutral. And feel the quality of that movement. What's going on in your hamstrings, those muscles on the back of your thigh? How does that translate through to the pelvis and the lower spine? How do you breathe as you do it? Do you catch yourself holding your breath sometimes? Then come back to neutral and begin to take the toes towards the floor and then bring your lower leg back to neutral so it's pointing towards the ceiling. How does that feel? And again, what's happening in those hamstrings on the back of your thigh? Is there more activity on the inside of your thigh or the outside? Is it smooth or Jumpy, or does your heel veer a little bit to one side or the other as you go down and come back? And another sign of unnecessary tension is are you clenching your teeth together, <laughs> focusing too hard? Let it go. Just let it be, do the movements, observe what happens. Then come back to neutral. And now slowly begin to make a clockwise circle with your lower leg and foot. So your knee stays on the floor and you just swing your right leg out to the right and down towards the floor, then to the left and then towards the buttock. And again, observe the shape of your circle or the coordination or lack of coordination that you feel. There will be some parts of the circle that are quite easy to get to, some that are a little difficult or out of your awareness so 
increasing your awareness will definitely improve the efficiency of all your movement. Come back to neutral and begin to make an anti-clockwise circle with your foot and lower leg. <coughs> and how does that go? Is it easier than the clockwise circle or just different? And just every now and then checking in on your breathing. When do you hold your breath? When do you breathe out? When do you breathe in? And what effect does it have on the movement? And are you beginning to feel more connection now through your hip joint, your pelvis, up through your spine, your shoulders, and your head? And if your head wants to roll a little bit, let it roll. See where it goes. So again, you can vary this movement by turning your head to the right and doing them, turning to the left and doing them, and then you can repeat the movement on the other side. And then if you really want to continue, you can do it with both legs, taking both legs in the same direction in a circle, lower legs and feet, and then in the opposite direction. Lots of variations of this, and we can progress it further later on. So thanks for listening. Don't forget to talk about my books, my marvellous movement, Feldenkrais books, workbooks. Bye.